Hi guys, hope you caught the build for this Apex here. What I'm going to do now is we're going to go through beta flights and the whole setup and at the end we're going to have um, the first flight with us. So sit back, stay tuned, let's do this. I've got my quad connected up here. What I've done is I've just disconnected the air unit because I will be plugging in a battery and that actually gets quite hot. So it's a good idea just to take that out. I won't do any damage at all. As you can see, I have to take the top of my quad off because we obviously rotated the stack, which can get a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. So let's get into beta flight and see what we can do here, see what settings need changing. What I have done is I've put a, a clean install of 4.2 on here. I did go in and already set up the um, accelerometer though. So as soon as you get in here, it says you need to calibrate the accelerometer, which is just there. Press that, calibrate the accelerometer. Now let's work through these. Now the ports, I don't know what it is with this, um, this Mamba stack, which is DJI enabled. It comes with this York 4 already on. And I know, and it comes with that Serial RX on as well, which is correct actually, so that's fine. But I know uh, from using these previously that it's this Yort 2 that needs to be on. And this one gives you the communication with your DJI goggles and enables you to see the OSD. So you need to put that one on. And then press save and reboot. Reconnect. Configuration, uh, what we will be doing here is arming. This is on 25 at the moment. So that's the angle that your quad is at when it will arm or won't arm. So if it's past 25 degrees, it won't arm. So if you want to use flip over after crash or turtle mode as they call it, you need to alter that to 180. So that needs to be 180. So we'll be using turtle mode. There's also your receiver, because I've got a crossfire in here. It's not S bus, it's crossfire. So crossfire just there. I will also be setting up a beeper, and it's this one here. So I'm using the motors as a beeper. Turn that on, and save and reboot. Reconnect. Power and battery should be fine. Pid tuning. These are the stop pids. And these are my rates. I've already put my rates in. And I've done a throttle limit. So this is the throttle limit. You select scale. And because these are 19, 1950 kV motors, I've put an 88% limit. So that just brings it down. So that should work nicely. Over to the receiver. This is where I need to turn on my Tango 2 and get a battery ready. Props are already off on my quad. Please remember to take your props off if you do this. There you go, battery plugged in. Receiver on. Welcome to Tango 2. There we go. Like I said, I've put an, an existing uh, crossfire in, into this quad. So it's actually already bound to my receiver and the switches are all set up, as you can see there. So everything's in the correct place. I did mention before, there's this channel map. If any of your, if you get your picture of your quad here, just spinning out, going crazy like this, it's basically this channel map. You need to remap these. I'll put a link down to the other video where it shows you that. But these are all good, so everything's in the correct place. AUX4 is set up for my RSI, which I've got here. AUX4 RSI. So those are all good. So what we do need to look at is this um, flight stack. What we have done is we rotated it, didn't we? So we rotated it 90 degrees or counterclockwise 90 degrees. And that's in the configuration. So over here, to the board center alignment, we need to change this yaw because yaw is, is flat. So we need to rotate that minus 90. Save and reboot. And that will give us the correct orientation. 
but we will need to look at the actual motors, the ESCs, how they're connected up and make sure they're in the correct locations. So that gives us the correct pitch. So that's back. There you go. That's forwards. That's back. So that's, that's us. It's that simple to realign your flight controller. Very simple. Complicated bit is the motors and the ESC. Sorry for jumping around a little bit, but we're going to go back to the modes. We need to add some modes in here. We need an arm mode. So we're going to add a range here and I'm going to have this on a switch. Aux one switch. That position there is my on. So that is on. Angle and horizon mode, I don't use. I'm going to fly pure acro on this. So that's going to stay how it is, just with that, that one on. Beeper, you remember we put that switch on? So we're going to add a range for beeper. And that's going to be on a switch on the back. So my on position is all the way over there. Put that on. There we go. And we want flip over after crash, tilt mode, out of range. And that would be on the switch here. So that position is total mode for me. There, and that is all we're going to stick on this. That's basically how I like my quad set up. Very minimal. Press save. You see it says it's armed, so let's turn that off. You can test that by going to the motors and signing your life away by pressing this. Make sure your props are off. There, you can hear the arm actually works. But since we're here, we will know that you have this diagram here of where your motor should be. So that's two, four, three, and one, and one, two, three, and four. So, Two should be spinning. Two is the top right or forward right. And in my case, I know that it's not going to spin correctly. So if I select motor two, I actually get rear right, which is completely wrong and so forth. So three for me is top left. And four for me is top right. So it's almost like, well, because we've turned everything round slightly, we basically moved everything one position. And this is a nice little way to do this, is I've drawn, I've got this diagram here. So basically this is, this is, your, this is your motor layout or your quad if you like. So that's forward, that's the top. This is motor two, motor one, motor three, and motor four as your beta flight diagram. And these numbers are the numbers that actually get allocated and say that that motor, motor 2 is CO9, motor 4 is AO9, motor 3 is AO8, motor 1 is CO8. And you find those out by going to your CLI. Just going to unplug this battery. There we go, everything turned off. Go to your CLI. What you need to do is press, is type in resource or resource. Hit enter. And you get the list of everything that's going on in your quad. You can see at the top, you've got motor one, two, three, and four. And if I show you this diagram again, so we've got, these are the numbers that I've written down. This is where I got the numbers from. Motor one, CO8. Motor two, CO9. Motor four, AO9, motor three, AO8. So that's where you get these numbers from. Write it down before you change anything. And what we, what you want to do now is get a mimic of that. So you still got two, one, two, four, and three, all in the exact same place. And if you rotate this top one, like so, motor three, is now CO8. Motor 1 is now CO9. Motor 2 is now AO9. And motor 4 is AO8. So those are the new numbers you need to put in. 
So 1 CO9, 2 AO9, 3 CO8, and 4 is AO8. So we need to type those in to the CLI, CLI and reconfigure them. And the way you do that is you type resource, you have to clear each of these out, resource motor, so let's all copy, motor one, none. And that basically empties it, like it says there. Do it again for each motor. Two is none, three is none, and four is none. There, all four motors are freed. Now we've freed up all of those motors, you need to refer back to your diagram, and we are gonna type in base of these numbers. So motor one becomes CO9, motor two, AO9, motor three, CO8, motor four, AO8. That's simple. So you need to type in resource motor one, CO9. Enter. Resource motor two is AO9. Source motor three is CO8. And four is AO8. Hit enter. Once you type all those in, type in save. Hit enter again. And that will save those configurations. So hopefully, if that's all worked, reconnect. Go back to your motors tab. Plug in your battery. And then looking at your beta flight diagram, sign your life away. Yes, I've got no props. Motor four should be top left. Excellent, let's show you that. Let's see if I can get a clip of this. Motor four, top left. Motor three, bottom left. Yes. Motor two, top right. And motor one, bottom right. So that's perfect. All relocated, matches up with the diagram in beta flight. So there won't be any issues at all. So that's redone. And one thing we need to check is how these motors spin. So what I do is I lightly just pinch a motor and you've got the diagram there of which direction the actual motor should be spinning. So starting with one. And that's spinning the wrong way. Starting with motor one. Yeah, that's spinning the wrong way. Motor two. That's spinning the wrong way. Motor three. Also spinning the wrong way. I think we might have a home run here. Motor four. Spinning the wrong way. All our motors are actually spinning the wrong way. So, so we need to we need to use BL Heli and reverse all of our motors. So let's disconnect out here. Go to BL Heli. And we will stick a battery in. You need a battery in actually for BL Heli. BL Heli is in. Connect. Read setup. And it's not going to read it. I've had this issue previously with this um, BL Heli configurator. I don't know why it does it, but sometimes it won't read your ESC board. So we're going to stop that. We're going to disconnect. Okay, so close that down. I've got another program called BL Heli Suite. And for some reason, this one works faultlessly. There you go. 
reads it fine. Like I said, I will put the links down to these, these all these programs in the description below. There you go, that's read all the ESCs. So now we can go into this and here you go, motor direction, press this arrow and reverse. So we're gonna reverse it and then right setup. That'll write that one. Press okay. Click down here and this reveals ESC2. We need to reverse that one as well. Reverse and then right setup. Press OK. D click motor 2 and then you're on ESC3. And reversed. Write the setup. So every time you change something, write the setup. It's a lot easier. ESC4. Reversed. Write the setup. And that is it, we've just reversed all our motors. We've got nothing else we need to change on that. Three reversed, two reversed, one reversed. All done. So close that down. And then just for good measure, reconnect into beta flight, back to your motors, sign your life away. And then let's make sure everything's spinning in the right direction. So motor one, Yep, all good. Motor two, yep. Motor three, yep. Motor four, yep. So there you go, all good. Let's just disconnect my battery. You don't want everything to overheat too much. So there you go. So. We've sorted out the motors, sorted out the direction of the flight stack. Uh, OSD should be in place. OSD is in place there, yep. Motors done. Modes are done. Receivers working. PIDs are in. Power and battery is good. Configuration. We've done everything we need to do in here. And we know it's all good. I always leave air mode on, just in case you're wondering. And that's it guys. I know on this quad what I have to do is I've got to update the air unit. Uh, I'm not going to do that on camera but I will get that done and what we're going to do now is we're going to go right to the field and give this a test flight. Okay, Apex test flight. Let's go. It feels good, it's light. I don't know if that's just the 6S thing or the motors. The motors do feel different. I think I've got a bit of travel on one of my sticks. We'll sort that out. I've got a bit of jello. Never had jello before. A little bit of noise. Fly ball.
are definitely not that angry at the pace as well. I'm interested to know what the F6s are like though. I like it. Might lower or higher the, um, the throttle limit I put on it though. It still feels nice where it is. They're not screaming, but I quite like it. They just feel a little bit gentle, flowy, I suppose. They are supposed to be mid range, more than high end, so yeah, I can see that. They're a lot tamer, I suppose, is the way you, th you could describe it. They're just not as harsh. They're not as full of, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly for everything. There you go guys, hope you enjoyed that little um, bit of flight with my first flight. I think this turned out like pretty well, to be honest with you. Um, I think there's a couple of little things I've got. I have got a little bit of jello for some reason, which is I can live with it, but I may have to try and figure out where it comes from. But the thing I actually really like are these motors. The F40s, they, they surprised me actually how different they actually felt. I mean, I've been flying the um, the Pacers on the 19, 1950s, and they're really aggressive. They're really screamy, really loud. They basically feel like, you know, they feel angry is the best way to describe them. But these these are just a little bit more, a bit more subtle or a bit more subdued, but, but nice at the same time. And they almost feel a bit more flowy. And like I said, I don't know if you heard me, they are supposed to be a mid-range or a mid-range throttle. So they're more comfortable at mid-range maneuvers rather than high end and just you know flat out throttling it so yeah i quite like them and also they're, they're quieter so that it almost felt a little bit nicer everything felt a little bit more take you know take your time get this move right it'll be okay a bit more relaxing which i quite liked rather than the aggression of the loud screamy motor so yeah i quite like them i'm going to do a few more flights and yeah, I think this Apex is going to soon become my favourite again. So yeah, looking forward to some more flights. And if I do that, I'll get some footage up as well. Hope you enjoyed that. Do hit that subscribe. Do hit that bell. And do hit that thumbs up. It all helps. I am trying to do more. I've got a full-time job at the same time. So I'm trying to get up as much as I can. Thanks a lot for subscribing and watching this channel. Thanks a lot, guys.